Guys, for this month, I am doing a $20 PSN gift card or Xbox card. All you gotta do is leave a like, comment something down below, and be subscribed, and you're entered. What is going on, guys? It is the Major King, Thigur Sama on the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. So, guys, today we got a brand new update for Infinite Warfare. This included two new weapons. We got a new assault rifle and a new SMG. I did make a video on the new assault rifle, so if you guys want to click on that video on the top right, it will lead you to that video. Um, but in this video, we're going to be focusing on the new submachine gun. This submachine gun is called the VPR or the Vepper, whatever you want to call it. And this weapon has dual magazines and dual barrels. This will allow you to have more bullets down range and faster reloads. Now this submachine gun is completely free if you have the season pass so you can hop on right now and start using it. Um, that goes for the assault rifle as well. Now if you don't have the season pass you can still unlock this weapon for free you just have to do a challenge. The challenge is win 12 games and get at least one kill with the X Eon. So a way to do this you can either pick up the X Eon when you're in a game or you can unlock the X Eon first whatever you guys want to do. But to unlock it all you have to do is win 12 games and get at least one kill in each of those games with the x eon so for how this weapon performs i would say this is the most inconsistent weapon i have ever used um in pretty much any call of duty game but let me rephrase that a little bit it's probably the most inconsistent submachine gun i have used in a while in any call of duty game because this weapon i really don't know how to feel one thing I noticed when I was using it is that the fire spread of the bullets is sideways instead of up and down, which you kind of have to get used to. It's like this because there's two different barrels on the gun, so there's two different bullet streams going out of each barrel. It's just a weird gun, and the damage isn't very good either. You would think that, you know, the damage is really good because it, like, sprays, but it's just not a very um, high damage gun. It's kind of weird. I would say this is a very average gun, and it's not as good as the new assault rifle that came out today. The new assault rifle is definitely a lot better than this new submachine gun i don't know you guys are gonna have to try the gun out for yourself but guys i'm gonna leave the gameplay playing out for two minutes so you guys can get a feel of the weapon and just hear what it sounds like so guys enjoy the gameplay and peace out friendly drone support is active the enemy has a drone package Oh, man, there's another fucking... 